In this presentation, I want to talk about planning for lead. Here are the things that will be covered in this presentation. LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. The LEAD Green Building Program is an independent certification program developed by the U.S. Green Building Council that provides rating systems for the design, construction, and ongoing operation and maintenance of high-performance green buildings. The LEAD Green Building Program was developed in 1999 by the U.S. Green Building Council. The LEAD rating systems and their related guides help design teams make appropriate decisions related to the sustainability for their projects in order to promote the effective integration of building systems. The U.S. Green Building Council advocates for a sustainable built environment through community and consensus building, education, and the LEAD Green Building Program. Green building includes the planning, design, construction, operations, and end-of-life recycling of structures, solutions that represent a healthy and dynamic balance between environmental, social, and economic benefits, the triple line framework, which is a long-term view for assessing potential effects and best practices for people, the planet, and profit. In the United States, buildings account for 14% of drinking water consumption, 30% of waste output, 40% of raw material use, 38% of carbon dioxide emissions, 24-50% to of energy use, and 72% of electricity consumption. Why get LEED certified? To reduce the building's carbon footprint, to improve productivity of building occupants, to reduce operating and maintenance cost, to receive recognition for your commitment to environmental issues in your community, your organization, and industry. To receive third-party validation of achievement. To qualify for federal, state, and local government financial initiatives. To receive positive marketing exposure. And being LEED certified provides a marketable credential to an employer, prospective employer, or client. There are five LEED rating systems for building certification. Building Design and Construction, Interior Design and Construction, Building Operations and Maintenance, Neighborhood Development, and Homes. Building Design and Construction. This rating is selected for buildings that are new construction or going through a large renovation including new construction, core and shell, schools, retail, hospitality, data centers, warehouses, distribution centers, and healthcare. Interior design and construction. This rating is selected when a full interior update is completed and includes commercial interior, retail, and hospitality. Building operations and maintenance. This rating is selected when little or no construction is taking place and the focus is on maintenance, repairs, and operations. This includes existing buildings, schools, retail, hospitality, data centers, warehouses, and distribution centers. Neighborhood and development. This rating is selected for new land development or redevelopment and includes plan and built projects. Homes. This rating is selected for single family or one to six story multifamily residences, including homes and multifamily low rise and mid rise. In this presentation, we will highlight the various LEED categories for homes credit to incorporate into your Habitat for Humanity project. For a home to be LEED certified, design teams of architects, civil engineer, MEP engineers, and landscape architects may need to coordinate the entire project together. The green building design movement will include more attempts at bringing outdated or underperforming buildings up to greener levels. The LEED rating systems include prerequisites and credits. Prerequisites are required elements that must be included in order for a project to be LEED certified. Credits are optional elements that product teams can elect to pursue to gain points toward varying levels of LEED certification. The LEED rating system for homes includes eight credit categories listed on the next several slides. Here are the eight Lead for Homes credit categories. 
The location and transportation credit category encourages the placement of homes in socially and environmentally responsible ways in relation to the larger community. This category discourages the use of sites within fragile ecosystems and encourages development of sites that border previously developed land or building on a previously developed site. Credits can also be earned in this category for sites that provide access to open space and allow walking, biking, and public transit to nearby facilities. The Sustainable Site Credit category offers points for a site that is designed to minimize the project's impact on the environment and takes into consideration local and regional ecosystems, environmental preservation, and long-term management needs. Sustainable site credits relate to site design in contrast to location and transportation credits, which are dependent on the location of the site. The site design should take into consideration the aesthetics and functional aspects of the landscape, but also consider long-term effects. Site designers are encouraged to minimize the construction activity, apply low-impact landscaping, and minimizing the area of non-permeable surfaces. The water efficiency credit category involves the careful attention that is given to promoting water conservation both indoors and outdoors. Water demand in the U.S. currently results in a 3.7 trillion gallon water deficit. That means Americans use 3.7 trillion gallons more than is returned to the natural water system. Therefore, using captured rainwater or reusing gray water from home sinks and showers can provide a five-point lead credit. Also, using water-efficient irrigation and installing high-efficiency shower heads, faucets, and urinals can greatly reduce water consumption in a building and reduce water and sewer utility cost. The Energy and Atmosphere Credit category promotes the use of on-site renewable energy resources and maximization of energy performance to help protect the environment and human health. The average lead home uses 30 to 40 percent less electricity and saves more than 100 metric tons of CO2. Reducing the need for natural energy resources helps reduce pressure on the environment and makes homes more healthful, comfortable, and durable. Lead credit is given to homes that exceed the Energy Star performance requirements. In the Energy and Atmosphere Credit category, careful attention is given to insulation, air infiltration, window selection, heating and cooling systems, lighting, appliances, and water heating, which can greatly reduce energy consumption. In this category, using renewable energy is also encouraged. The Materials and Resources Credit category encourages the efficient use of environmentally preferable materials and minimizing the amount of waste during construction to reduce negative impacts on the environment. In this category, credit can be obtained by minimizing waste, choosing environmentally friendly materials, and finding other uses for construction waste. Using reclaimed and recycled content materials can provide cost savings and reduce resource use. Many public and private waste management facilities now have implemented alternative methods to recycle construction debris, which often involves separating construction debris at the job site. Efficient design, especially associated with structural framing, can significantly reduce the volume of construction materials used and the associated waste produced in home construction. The Indoor Environmental Quality Credit category encourages reducing the creation of and exposure to pollutants. By doing so, it can greatly improve the indoor air quality. Indoor air quality has a significant impact on building occupants. The health of occupants should be of utmost concern of the owner of the building. With proper venting, moisture control, air filtering, and distribution of heating and cooling, the indoor air quality can be protected. Evaluating products used in home construction, such as adhesives, paints, carpets, and composite products for potentially hazardous off-gases can reduce exposure to toxins. Using fresh air to dilute indoor pollution 
can also improve indoor air quality. Another aspect of indoor air quality is occupant comfort. Careful planning and installation of sensors and controls to control temperature, humidity, and ventilation can help maintain occupant comfort. In the innovation credit category, points can be earned for design and construction techniques that use innovative green strategies, provide exemplary performance levels, or incorporate regional best practices. The regional priority credit category allows lead project teams to address critical environmental issues in the specific project locale. Environmental issues are often localized. The U.S. Green Building Council has identified distinct environmental priorities within specific areas of the country. Six regional priority credits are available for each locale that can include naturally occurring or man-made issues and reflect environmental concerns or utilize environmental assets. The six regional priority credits differ among rating systems and across the country. There are four levels of LEED for Homes certification. LEED Certified, LEED Silver, LEED Gold, and LEED Platinum. Architects plan for LEED design credits to receive certification for the building. The number of points earned determines the level of certification. Platinum is the highest level of LEED certification for homes. A fee is charged to register for the LEED program. A separate certification fee is charged depending on the size of the project and the rating system used. The combined fees typically are less than $600 for a single family home. Larger homes obviously consume more resources and result in more greenhouse gases than smaller homes. Lead for homes size adjustments allows for a reduction in credit point requirements for smaller homes. In comparison to Energy Star for Homes, Lead for Homes size adjustments offer the following. One point can be earned for every 4% decrease in conditioned floor area. One point can be deducted for every 4% increase in conditioned floor area. Due to special construction methods, green buildings may cost more money up front, but they can save the homeowner money in the long run due to the lower operating utility cost. Certification can be obtained by design professionals through classes, seminars, and testing. Once training is complete, designers can become LEED accredited professionals certified. LEED accredited professionals use their training and experience to design the most sustainable buildings possible.